Joann's is one of my favorite places to shop fabric and patterns. And although I'm only here to pick up patterns, it doesn't stop me from perusing the fabric. Yes, they're having a pattern sale on Simplicity Know Me and Macaws for $1.99 and Vogue patterns for $5.99. Now, I always bring my sewing planner with me where I jot down the patterns that I'm looking for. That way I don't forget. I'm looking for a new look 6197. Not sure if the new look patterns are ever part of any of the sales. But looking at my calls, I was immediately drawn to four of these vintage patterns by my calls. Sad to say, I did not end up purchasing either of the vintage patterns. But now looking back, I kind of wish I had. My husband found a Nomi pattern that he thought would fit me well, but it didn't really speak to me right off. But maybe in the future, I'll go back and purchase this pattern as well. Once I've selected all of my patterns, I usually go back and go through all of them again just to make sure that they are really what I want. And my husband was having fun telling me which patterns he wanted to keep and how he wanted the pattern to be designed. So that's what we're doing here. Just going through making our final selection, making sure there's no buyer's remorse and that we want every pattern that we've actually picked up. And this coat pattern, I actually should have kept, but I didn't. So I will pick that pattern up at the next sale. Oh yeah, here's my uh my letterman jacket right here. I spotted some beautiful beaded fabric that I would like to start practicing with, and we left the store only paying twenty four dollars and twenty cents. Okay, so here are the patterns that I actually took home with me. The first pattern is Simplicity 8513. This pattern I do already have, but I had to repurchase it because I started cutting out this pattern only to find out that the actual bodysuit for the view that I wanted to do, which is view B, was not in the pattern envelope. Was not in the pattern envelope. I don't know if that's my doing because I did pull that pattern out a little while ago and attempt to cut it. And when I saw how many pieces it was, I just threw it to the side and I possibly could have lost one of the pieces of tissue that contained that view. I don't know what happened, but anyway, I picked this one up again. Um, the next pattern that I picked up was Simplicity S9833 and what is my marker? Let's do this. <laughs> while I'm thinking about it yeah so this is s9833 this pattern here I love how this bra is made and I do want to make me some bras because I pay quite a bit of money for the ones that I purchase that actually work for me so I want to get into the lingerie making and quick backstory that's what actually got me back into garment sewing in the first place. I wanted to make my own lingerie and I got on YouTube just to see what videos I could find and see how easy or how complicated it might be. And I got stuck in the world of garment sewing. So that's actually what sparked my passion for sewing again. And sad to say, I haven't sewn one piece of lingerie yet, but I will get there and I'm going to start with that pattern there, Simplicity S9833. Next, this is a pattern that my husband picked out. It is No Me ME 2010. And this is a men's varsity bomber jacket and it comes in two different lengths. I hope you all can see this good. Um, I'm filming a little differently today, so I don't know. But hopefully it's coming out right. But he really was drawn to this bomber jacket and he likes view B here. 
And in the clips, you saw that he found his section of the store for fabric that I'm going to take him back to look for um, to shop in when I get ready to make this jacket for him. So he picked this one. He also picked this next pattern, which is No Me ME 2036. And this is a men's jacket. He really liked this one. And so I went ahead and got this one for him as well. He liked all the details on it. And for some reason, he thought that bomber jacket might be too hard for me. I forgot to mention. Yeah, I was like, how are you going to tell me it was too hard? I think I can do it. And I think I can do this jacket as well. So we'll see. This next pattern is No Me, M-E-2046. And this pattern was actually the pattern of the month for So Your View, which I missed out on because I was not able to pick up this pattern in time. But I've wanted to make me um, a garment like this for a long time, but hadn't found a pattern. And the description of this pattern is a Mrs. Knit dress in two lengths and woven pants. So you get the dress and the pants. This is a shorter view, which you can wear with tights or jeans underneath. And this is the longer one, which you can just simply wear by itself. I like both views and I will probably make both. <laughs> Next pattern is McCall's M7818. And it is a unisex jacket. Slash kind of like a blazer, you know, a coat jacket or something like that. <coughs> Woo. Excuse me. And thank you. Um, this pattern is actually one of the patterns that I'm going to need for one of my Sew It Academy courses. I believe it's the fitting or either tailoring courses. So I keep a list of those patterns as well, just so that when I do when they do have, just so I have the a, just so I have a list of patterns that I need when the patterns go on sale, I know what patterns I'm going to need for my courses. And when I find them, I'll go ahead and just pick those up so that when I get to that course, I'm not delayed for any reason. The next pattern is this one also came off the rack. It's Simplicity S9828. Write that on here. Okay. S9828 is described as a unisex sweatshirt and pants. This pattern here. My husband also picked this one out. Um, he was doing a lot of shopping for himself, right? So he didn't complain with the number of patterns that I came home with, even though most of the patterns that I had on my list, um, two of them I could not find, and which I don't think they even print them in the store print them and put them in the stores anymore i may have to find them online but um yeah i think he picked out more patterns than i had on my list i wasn't immediately drawn to this pattern i don't know why i don't i think it's the fabric choice uh portrayed here in the pictures i just don't really it just kind of turns me off they look like big fuzzy bears almost costume like so that just didn't grab my attention, but I can see that in other fabrics. So I can appreciate this one. The next pattern is Simplicity 1506. And this one is a Husky Boys and Big and Tall Men's Line Vest, Neck Tie and Bow Tie. Although my husband is not husky he or big, he is tall. Um, I still think this will work just looking at the pattern measurements and um it should fit him fine the smaller size of course um hopefully it fits him we actually saw this pattern first in walmart and he liked it so i told him i knew there would be a sale coming up so i would just wait for that sale and that was probably like a week or so ago so this pattern was right this pattern sale was right on time the next one is simplicity 5555 and this is a 1970s authentic simplicity original pattern. It is one size jiffy knit wrap and tie halter. You see that? You see that? Yes. 
and it is size for stretch knits only. Um, I cannot remember where I saw this pattern at. It was on someone's YouTube video and it's been on my list for a little while, but I hadn't been able to find it. And I was super excited when I did find it this time. And I'm definitely going to make this pattern for next summer because it's it's not cold yet, but it's getting there. And I don't know with all the other things that I have planned to make right now, I don't know if I'll have time to wear it this year, but I'm definitely gonna make it. The next pattern, Simplicity 9618. This is a tote bag in three sizes. This pattern, y'all, I absolutely fell in love with when I was seeing all the different views of this and the ways that people made this on Instagram. I knew it was a pattern that I had to get my hands on. Plus, I think I told you in my last video that my mom wanted a square bag. And this is actually the perfect bag for her. It also has a zipper on top, straps. A, sh a shoulder strap and then you know the little handles so i'll be making this pretty soon for her because i know she wants it so i'm gonna try to push this up on my list of things to do or things to make and try to get this for her i don't know maybe she'll get it as a christmas gift we'll see that was Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that was a total of 10 patterns. And out of those 10 patterns, let me tell you how many my husband chose. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I did feel like he chose almost 50% of the patterns, but he chose four. So that puts him at a good 40% of the patterns that he chose, and I'm not bad about it. I'm actually glad that he enjoyed the shopping experience as much as I did. He found some things that he liked and, and picked out and expects me to make. He even found himself over in the fabric aisle looking at fabric, so I'm not mad about that at all. So I know he won't mind going to shop for fabric for the projects that he is asking for, which I would prefer he do anyway, because there are things that I like for him. But I do know that he is very unique and has his kind of own way of thinking and style and how he would like to see some things come together. So I want to give him the freedom to, you know, pick how his garments, you know, are going to look and how they come out and what fabrics they're made with because it speaks to his unique style. So I do want him to embrace that. So I hope he's looking forward to going on more trips to Joanne's with me. Of course, he doesn't have to go every time, but being that he was excited and picked out these patterns and looked at some fabric, I don't think he'll mind going in the future. There are a few other patterns on my list that I am in search of. I don't think they're like being printed or put in stores anymore. So I know one of them is on Amazon. It's Simplicity S8882. It's a Gertie pattern. And then there's New Look 6197, which one of my viewers suggested to me when I did my menswear series, the button up shirt with the Bob Marley fabric. If you haven't seen that make sure you check it out i looked for that new look pattern when i was in the store but did not find it and i'm also thinking that one is no longer in print i'm gonna have to go ahead and order that from the simplicity site which it is only 2.99 but the only thing i hate about that is that the pattern is 2.99 but then the shipping is 7.99 so it's like do i want to pay ten dollars an extra eight dollars for like a two or three dollar pattern I don't want to, but I guess in the end, if I have to, I will. Um, the other pattern is that Mimi G pattern, Simplicity S. I want to say it's 8466. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it. And I'm going to put the picture of the pattern here on the screen once I figure out what it is. I know that it's on Etsy, so I may have to just go ahead and shop etsy amazon and simplicity i wanted to try to get all three patterns on the simplicity site so that the shipping would be worth it but it doesn't seem like the gertie and mimi g patterns are available on their site either 
So it looks like I'm going to have to go to a third party. I guess which in the end is okay because I do really want the patterns. I just hate that like on Etsy, you have to pay shipping for each shop that you shop from. But hey, it is what it is. We'll make it do what it do. That is my pattern haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've considered subscribing hitting that like button, turning on those notifications, and sharing this video with a friend. Until next time, keep sewing.